Hello, I'm gonna read one more book. It was a book I wanted to read when we came back from winter break and I wanted to have all of you become an author and write your own book. I was even going to have you look up on YouTube on how to make your own little mini book. So um, teachers, if this is something you wanna do, do it. But I fell in love with this book when I was um, subbing at Slater Elementary School over last summer. And I would, I just fell in love with this book and I thought of you guys as I was reading it to the students over there. It's called Library Mouse and it's written by Daniel Kirk. And it's such a beautiful cover. Um, you guys will probably notice I had this on the wall. Um, I don't know if Miss Vasquez has it up there still, but this was a, this was something that I was gonna do with you guys. Um, but unfortunately, I fell and broke my wrist and had surgery, and it's taking a lot longer for me to heal. All right, so let's get with the story. It's called Library Mouse. Sam was a library mouse. His home was in a little hole in the wall behind the children's reference books, and he thought that life was very good indeed. Every day when the library was full of people walking up and down the aisle, studying, checking out books, and working on the computer, Sam was curled up in his little hole, sound asleep. Every night, when the people went home and the room was dark and quiet, the library belonged to Sam. And every night, Sam read and he read and he read. Sam read picture books, chapter books. He read biographies and poetry cookbooks and sports books, fairy tales and ghost stories, and mysteries by the dozen. <clears throat> Sam's mind was filled with fact and information and images of faraway places, and his imagination brimmed over with wonder and fantasy. One night, Sam decided that it was time he wrote a book of his own. Sam folded over some little squares of paper he took from the library desk to make the pages. Then he found a pencil that had rolled underneath the shelf and he began to write. Write what you know, Sam had read in a book about writing. So Sam wrote about being a mouse. He drew the pictures for his book by posing in his little mirror and then sketching what he saw. Sam worked very hard, very hard, and finally his first book was done. He, it, ooh, he called it Squeak, a mouse life, and he wrote on the cover, Words and Pictures by Sam. He went to the biography, autobiography section of the library, and he tucked his first book onto the shelf. Then he went back to his little hole in the wall and waited. Okay, first page. The next afternoon, sunlight streamed in through the library window. What's this? A girl whose teacher has sent her to the library to do a book report. I've never seen anything like it, like this before, so the, said the librarian. And she put Squeak, a mouse life, on her desk. Later, she showed it to the other librarians. Sam decided to write another book. It was called The Lonely Cheese. And working on this book made him feel very hungry. 
It was a good thing that he always found so many crumbs to eat by the trash basket in the hallways. When he had finished the illustration, Sam scurried to the picture book section and proudly placed his latest book on the shelf. Then he went back to his little hole in the wall and waited. The next morning, sunlight streamed in through the library windows. What's this? asked a little boy who was looking for a big book about trucks. It's another book by Sam, said the librarian. Just who is this Sam? She thought to herself and put the lonely cheese on her desk. Later, she showed it to the children at story time. Sam decided to write a chapter book. It was called The Mystery Mouse Mansion. And it gave Sam goosebumps when he wrote down the scary parts. The full moon was shining down through the windows of the darkest library when Sam crept over to the mystery section and sneakily placed his book on the shelf. Then he went back to his little hole in the wall and waited. The next day, sunlight streamed through the library window. What's this? asked a teenager who was looking for a good creepy book to read before bed. We've got to find out who this Sam is, said the librarian. I'll leave a note on the bulletin board and tell him that I would like to meet our new author. She put the mystery, mystery of Mouse Mansion on her desk and later she showed it to the writing class that came in after school that night. Sam found the note. It read, Dear Sam, all of us at the library have been enjoying your books immensely. We are all wondering who is this mystery Sam really is. Whoever you are, you certainly have a lot of talent. Not everyone has it in them to write, a, to write even a single book, let alone three. We think it would be fun to have a Meet the Author Day with you as our special guest. The children would love to hear you read your book and books and share some of your secrets for writing. Yours truly, Miss Forrester, Head Librarian. Sam felt very nervous. He was happy that the children at the library liked his books. He was flattered they wanted to meet him, but mice? As a rule, are very shy when it comes to meeting people. Sam could not understand why people thought that writing and making up stories was so hard. If only what they would try. They might find out that writing was really lots of fun. Sam had an idea. He went to the librarian desk and got some supplies. All night long, he wrote and drew and snipped and folded and stapled his little re rectangle of paper into mouse-sized books. In the morning, when the librarian was open, open up to the children's room, there was a sheet of paper taped to the door. Meet the author today, it read. A little girl was the first to see Sam's display, all set up in front all set up on the front table. What's this? she asked. There sat a tissue box with a pair of pencils taped to the sides and a banner stretched across the top. On the banner was written, Meet the author with an arrow pointing down. This is my favorite part. The girl bent over to look in, look in the empty tissue box. Oh, she said in a surprise, for there sat the bottom of the box, lay Sam's little mirror, 
And in the mirror, the little girl saw her own face smiling up at her. Me? She said. An author? Next to the mirror was a stack of tiny blank books and a pile of pencils that Sam had sharpened with his little teeth. All that day and for many more thereafter, people came to the little display to meet the author. Soon there was a whole shelf full of books written and illustrated by people who had never written a book before, telling stories that had never been told. Sam was the library mouse. His home was in the little hole in the wall behind the children's reference book. All that night, Sam sat in his hole thinking and thinking about the next book he would write. Would it be a mystery, an adventure, a funny book, a true story? There were so many stories to tell. Aha, he thought, I'll just have to write one of each. Sam picked up his pencil and got to work. This is why I got so excited with this book because boys and girls, you all can write a book. So I challenge you, even if you don't do it as a class with your teacher, I challenge you to take get some paper, go on YouTube, look how to make many books, make yourself a book and write yourself a book. And I would love to read your stories. If you would just ask your teacher to reach out to me, and you guys can mail your stories to me. I would love to read all your books. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Talk to you later. Bye.